that's the biggest thing about buying a coach is you can never be in a hurry. You gotta be patient, wait for the right deal, and you can never do too much homework. You gotta just figure out what you're working with. Hey everyone, look who's here Woo joining us. What's going on? We just found this guy on the side of Route 46. Yeah. He was broken down. We, yeah, we just we figured. Him up. So we got uh, Andrew Steele from RV with Andrew Steele. Say what's up there, everyone. Hey, great to be here hanging out with Izzy and MJ and Jason. One of the best channels on YouTube. Oh, so Honored kind, to be here. So yeah. kind. We feel like we know him. It's, we just met today, but we feel like we've been friends forever. And if you don't subscribe and check out Andrew, you got to go in the links below because his channel he covers a lot of these high-end motorhomes that we just can't even get near. You want to tell people a little bit about your channel? It's called RVing with Andrew Steele. If you haven't seen it, I just try to make all types of different RV-related videos, but I've kind of honed in on the, the higher-end stuff, the Newell coaches, the Prevo conversions, the Liberties, the Marathons, the higher-end stuff that people have a harder time getting access to. I ran an RV detailing business for the last 12 years, so over that last decade or so, I've been able to make a lot of connections and get access to a lot of coaches that are kind of harder to get access to. Yeah. So kind of found myself kind of in that higher end niche is, is where I've uh, found success. So I love to interview people. I kind of do that for a living. So I'm going to have a couple of questions for uh, Andrew. Uh, I'm a little worried <laughs> here. I'm not going to read your rights before. Uh, uh, we hook them up to the lie detector. No, that's all right. I'll take a lie detector. Yeah. Yeah. So you're actually here in New Jersey, right? Far off from your hometown of like Arizona, right? Your home state. So why are you up here in New Jersey? I'm actually helping a gentleman that's a subscriber to my channel. Um, I've had all these people reaching out to me and I've started offering consulting services. And there's a gentleman that lives in Los Angeles, California. His time is very valuable. Um, so basically he's paying for me to go look at a particular Newell coach that he's thinking about buying uh, up here in New Jersey. And I was actually out here in, in Southern New Jersey buying a Prevo for a totally different gentleman. Last week, didn't meet up with you guys, but I was like, I gotta carve out some time to hang out with you guys if I'm gonna be in New Jersey. So yeah, I'm up here RV shopping actually. And so, it's right up the street, there's a Newell coach, so. <laughs> so we actually, we actually missed him a couple of times. You wanna tell a subscriber, we were missing each other by like a week. It was Indiana. Indi yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, and that was a few days actually. Yeah. yeah, Andrew took off. We were arriving like three days later and then this time to Cape May, New Jersey. Which we just got back, yeah. it was like a week. Yeah, like a week, but just we made it work. Each other. No, I was like, all right, I'm carving out some time to hang out <laughs> yeah. with them. Cool. So so you started, you said you're an RV detailer, right? And you kind of started this YouTube channel. I, I, I watched, I've been watching you since around 8,000 subscribers, but I, I have seen your first video, oh. like when you're like on some cooler or something like that. Oh yeah, that was way back. So actually my very first video, I wasn't even trying to really start a YouTube channel. It was in like 2011 or 2012, one of my RV detailing clients had a Lorenzo and Vida Ceballos, really nice people. They own the Indian uh, motorcycle dealership in Colorado Springs, California, but they had a Boss Haas bar stool with 350 horsepower motor and basically said, here, you can drive this around the uh, RV park. So I handed her my cell phone and said, can you film this for me? And it was like too big to, for Facebook or something at the time. So I uploaded it to YouTube and that was my first YouTube video. And then like seven or eight years later, I kind of started really making YouTube. Just tell us a little about your story, like how you got to YouTube from detailing. Yeah, well, so it started, I was, I wanted to buy a, a class A RV. I had, I had owned an Airstream travel trailer. I had uh, bought and sold a gas class A, bought and sold a big, uh, well, I lived in a 44 foot fifth wheel KZ Inferno toy hauler for a few years. So I had like three or four years, my parents had a gas uh, class A Winnebago that they were like never using. So I was putting some use into that for them. So I had been around a lot of different RVs, but I really wanted to step up to a diesel pusher. I started asking all of my detail, you know, I was touching like, you know, 10 to 15 people a day that I had a team of guys helping me wash these coaches. So I started asking people, what do you like and what do you not like about your RV? And it was amazing at how much information people just wanted to tell you this broke, this cost me this. And I'm like, this is so much valuable information. If I can somehow 
get this information onto YouTube, there's got to be some value there. And I'd seen some other YouTube channels in the RV space that I just wasn't impressed and with what they were doing. And I'm like, I'm exposed to so much mm -hmm. cool stuff. Like I got to share this with the world. So uh, that's, that's kind of how it started was me basically trying to interview my detail clients, but then it evolved because, you know, some people are willing to share their will. They love to share it with you when you're just the detail guy. But when you put a camera in their face, <laughs> <laughs> they don't want it at all. So the, the channels evolve. So I'm dying to know this. No holds barred, money's no object. What would be your RV of choice? That's a great question. It would depend on what I'm using the coach for because really that question can be answered a lot of different ways. Do I want to put down 40,000 miles a year? And I'll give you a few different answers, but you know, do I want to travel to like one place for four months and hang out? So I think choosing the right rv having an endless amount of money would be great but the 2.7 million dollar liberty coach with a dean laux paint job mm -hmm. is obviously the most expensive and that's if you have no budget but that wouldn't necessarily be the coach that i would need now if i'm putting down 20 30 000 miles a year absolutely now if i'm not traveling that much maybe one of those big fifth wheels like the anderson at mobile estates like the million dollar yeah. semi trailers where Two i may stories. have yeah. where i may have one on the east coast and one on the west coast and they're like a million each or something or a newell coach you know the living area in a newell coach is you know with the quad slide i don't know if you've seen some of the recent videos i've done but the design of the newell coaches and you know me being a tall guy the newell coaches have more headroom than the Prevos. I think those would be my three top picks okay. would be the Liberty Coach with the Dean Locks paint job is gonna be number one. Probably have to hire a driver because <laughs> if you're not putting 30,000 miles a year on it, it's just kind of overbuilt. Those are buses that are built to run a million miles. If you're gonna buy it and it's only gonna go 100,000 miles in the next 10 year, I don't think you're doing that bus justice. Mm -hmm. that, that bus wants to run. And hey, I'm up to go 30,000 miles a year. That's nothing wrong with that, but it would depend on my lifestyle and what I was trying to accomplish. New old coach is gonna be the other option. And I'm gonna try to get some tours of some of those real, like those multi-million dollar mm -hmm. semi-trailers like Will Smith has. Oh, I was gonna say, maybe yeah. this for sale. Yeah, no, there are some. They're just really, really hard to get. Like these Liberty coaches and stuff. Like literally, the first time I went to Liberty Coach in Stewart, Florida, they were like, like literally, the lady like almost threw me out of there. Like it's just, <laughs> I'm sure you guys know it. Like you can't just walk in anywhere. The camera and people, right. they don't, yep. they don't realize that you're trying to help them and try to advertise for sure. them. Yep. They see it as this could hurt me. This could right. hurt my. And people are very protective of their reputations. Yeah, I wanna get some more tours of that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, but it makes sense, you know, and you people say, well, what kind of coach should I get? Everybody's different and everybody's using it for different things. So that's the perfect example. So yeah, you just have to absolutely. get one of each and you'll be good to go. There you go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a quick question. Now, yes, you, you've been around, you know, all types of RVs and a lot of these high-end RVs. Do you find like it's, it's like a different crowd or, or kind of like a, like clicky at all? What, you know, like certain, like we, we really like the Super C's, right? And I think like the, for us, like the Super C is just like the working man. Yeah down to earth like mm -hmm. i'm gonna haul a truck i'm going to the races do you find like certain type of crowds gravitate a hundred percent yeah okay. you know the the crowd that i hang out with they're known as bus holes um <laughs> you know when you when you have a two million dollar rv there's a good chance that people are going to think that you're a bus hole now even if you come off some of these people like are like the nicest most down to earth people but like for an example dean laux super humble i mean he'll treat the detail guy the same way he treats the executive. But, you know, someone sees him like fly by in his blue Lamborghini and <laughs> his big coach and stacker. And like he may, you know, he's in a hurry to get where you may not get a chance to hang out with him and realize that if you can sit down and talk to this guy, he's actually a really good guy. And I think a lot of RV years, there's, there's a lot of business owners in that mm -hmm. higher end RV and that kind of a personality you know there's definitely stereotypes and you know maybe being the detail guy you know you can tell a lot about a person by how they treat a restaurant server or a detail guy or the trash guy mm -hmm. or the landscaper you watch people if they make eye contact with landscapers you can tell a lot <laughs> and if they'll greet a landscaper you can tell a lot about a person or a detail guy so definitely the fifth wheel crowd is a little more tends to be laid back the super c guys a lot of guys that own trucking companies travel trailers 
going to be a lot of families. Mm -hmm. You get into the diesel pushers, you get into the bus holes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep it real. I'm with, I'm with the realest channel on YouTube, so I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Listen, there's a reason why I said, listen, we, we love the Prevo, right? We, it's not something that I, we could afford a new Prevo, but if we ever got a used one, but I don't know, like I, I kind of, I, I just from seeing it, like the different resorts, where I kind of get that feeling and I don't know if we'd fit into that crowd. You know what I mean? We'd have to experience We have to experience it. I, I, to, I, I don't see, see myself fitting in that like $300 a night you know, resort. Yeah, I mean, we would love it, but yeah, is it the kind of people? Well, you guys that, would you fit know? in. You could, if you guys ever get a chance to go out to Montana, mm -hmm. I've I got a site I bought in a Class yes, A yes. only. Now, yeah. now they'll allow. They won't allow a Super C, mm. but they will allow your base star. Ah. So before you trade in, okay. I'm happy to let you guys stay in my site, <laughs> make the trip over there, and check it out. And you'll notice people are. I mean, they're really friendly. But I think the Class A people, they, you know, there's not as many children, mm -hmm. and so you know. Know, like I'm, I, I'm not. I don't have children. I'm not married. I like the Class A resorts because, yeah. like, you know, when there's kids with bicycles, oh, you know, yeah. and no, we don't like that either. No. You know, <laughs> racing around, going, Absolutely. you know, and screaming yeah, yeah. children. Um, if you guys ever saw my um, tour of Air Force One video where I was complaining about screaming children, I got a lot of uh, pushback. <laughs> but you know, I think there's a, a time and a place. Like, if you guys wanted to go and hang out, I think you guys would fit right in. Yeah. Um, we'll be a little older too. We've been seeing your, you know, I watched most of your videos, but I've been seeing like a, a kind of a transformation, right? You, you first started like reviewing a lot of RVs and you do that now, but you're also doing more of this like consulting stuff and, and doing these inspections for people. You want to talk a little bit about like some of the services you, you now yeah, offer? Yeah, I've got my website up now. Like I had so many people reaching out to me that it was, it was physically impossible. You know, when you get back to your computer and you've got 20 <laughs> emails, hey, I'm thinking about getting an Integra, you know, corner Cornerstone, or hey, what do you think about the Fleetwood Discovery versus the Chaparral fifth wheel? It just There's just so many random questions that it's impossible for me to keep up with all these questions. So I let people know. And also to email and typing is just not the fastest way to communicate. So people can schedule a phone call. I can get on the phone. We can convey information back and forth. I'm charging people only $100 an hour, which really isn't a lot of money, um, especially with all of the resources and information I have in the industry and guiding people in the right direction and saving them some, from some some big mistake. It's just naturally kind of happened where I've been helping some people buy some coaches and I've had some good luck definitely saving people some headaches. So that's, I don't know what the future holds, but right now, like I'm out here in New Jersey, I'm going to go try to buy this coach tomorrow. We'll see if it's a good deal. If not, I'm going right to Florida to go look at some more coaches. Nice. That's the biggest thing about buying a coach is you can never be in a hurry. You got to be patient, wait for the right deal. And you can never do too much homework. You got to just turn over every stone and really try to figure out and touch every button in the RV, try to figure out what you're working with. You are living the life right now. And we love, the reason we love Andrew's channel and we have from day one is because he's, he's a hustler, he's a hard worker mm -hmm. and we're very similar and we, so respect that and you deserve every ounce of fun and success that Absolutely. you're enjoying right now yeah, well I'm likewise so too yeah and i'm just i started my channel a little bit ahead of you guys and i'm kind of like izzy where i'm ocd where i have an 11 year old coach and i should just just let stuff go but i'm like uh nitpicking every little thing but no i'm excited to see what what's going to happen with your guys channel too because you guys are hustlers you know there's a lot of channels and you kind of Birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, I have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, it's awesome what YouTube's done, but I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what you you know what's in your guys' future as well. well we we got we have some things up our sleeves for next year. We'll tell you off camera, yeah. but. Yeah. But we're looking to to expand that also. So thank you for taking the time joining us. Lots of words of wisdom. If you're looking for a high-end motorhome or really any motorhome, Andrews is everywhere. Like when we're we're looking for our next motorhome, I'm gonna drop a call to Andrew. So listen, if you have anything out there, let me know. You know, we'll fly out wherever. So for sure, check them out. We'll put the links below. Thank you for being. Thank you for fitting us in. To your oh short shoot, time here it's, in it's Jersey. We're likewise, so likewise. Yeah, thank you guys, Izzy. Thank you for your service. Thank you to all the first responders out there. I can't say enough good stuff about Izzy and MJ. Really appreciate you guys. So thank you guys, and we will see you guys on the road. Take care.